Welcome to the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, guys, I'm going to switch it up today. I normally start off with an article, a funny article, but I'm going to start off with this one because this one is very, very interesting. AstraZeneca shares fall due to after a Brazilian health authority says a volunteer of COVID vaccine has died. Now, guys, I don't understand, and maybe someone can explain it to me. Now, the C word has been around for 20 years. If you've been on my crypto teacher channel, I actually have a video of the man who actually been working on it for over 20 years. Now, the fact is, is that this is nothing new. They just changed the name because everybody found out about it. That, hey, it's on your Lysol cans. It's been out. So they changed the name and said it was a different strain. But the fact is, guys, we don't even have a test for the C word. So I don't understand how they can do a vaccine for it. And what also baffles me is that why wouldn't you give the same flu shot for the regular flu as you would do the C word? Because that's what the C word is, is the flu. So it's definitely amazing to me how they're getting away with this. But, you know, the masses are asleep. But, guys, getting over into the uh, C word stimulus bill, the Republicans at $500 billion got shut down actually in the Senate. The Democrats that's in the Senate didn't approve of it, so they didn't get enough votes. So we back to that $2.2 trillion that's sitting on the table. Remember, the House passed it. It's just sitting on the table. Only thing they have to do is push it through. Remember what I said, guys. They want to wait as close as to the holidays as possible because the masses are going to hand that money right back to the big corporations. Remember, that's the only thing that's open right now. Now, what did we also see, guys? We saw the bond market start to wake up. Interest as interest rates are getting higher. Now, we know the Fed is manipulating these rates top to bottom. We know it is. So, guys, if they let it raise just a little bit, we know that's going to do what hit the stock market and bad. But we know the Fed is not going to take the blame. And the stock market, of course, the corporation is not going to take the blame. They're going to come up with something else, probably the C word, in order to drop us lower. But we're definitely going to hit a rocky road. We see cryptos going up. Anytime that we're headed towards a negative time in the stock market, cryptos do take a hit, but not as much. But getting over into the actual individual stocks. Basically, we have Tesla pump after hours. Remember, I told you to watch Tesla. We know that's a new world order stock. We know it's not going anywhere. Also, basically, we had Snap. I went over this yesterday, guys. I told you Snap is going to soar. The reason why Snap, Twitter, Facebook, guys, they're the big horses in town. We know people sit on social media all day long. We know we're going towards this tech world. And the fact is, the more applications that can integrate inside of these applications, especially if you can start buying the regular items from Amazon and all these other places inside of these apps. And plus, when Facebook leave or the crypto comes in and where you can use these digital currencies to buy through these apps, it's definitely going to be crazy. But guys, we know we're headed towards that technology avenue. So invest. I'm not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. But guys, this is where we're headed. So the fact is that you must invest. And then also we had CSX, the railroad, went up a little bit after hours. We know the earnings after hours. So, of course, the stock moves. But guys, remember to stay focused on the earnings. The only thing you have to do is look up an earnings calendar. Get the one you're looking at. And guys, I'm telling you, the stocks always either take a strong move up or a strong move down. Only thing you have to do is do your research on the stock, and basically it will let you know which way it's going. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and spread this channel everywhere. Remember, guys, we are headed towards tech, and that's where your investments need to be. You will not lose. Just make sure you are following the money. So if you see the billionaires investing in this and this, 
guess where you should put your money at? I'm going to put my money with the billionaire. I don't know about you. I'm not going to go off my own thoughts. I'm going to go off to where the new world order is leading us. You have a wonderful day. Hey, Rich, let, let's talk about Snap and this this other story that Julia just nice. set up with it. I, let's it's give incredible. a shout out, first of all. You did say a year ago today that you were initiating coverage on this stock with a $20 price target, and you took some heat for that. Obviously, we're well past that now, especially with these gains that we see overnight on this. But is this a pandemic story? I mean, you think about kids who use this so heavily, not being able to do so many other things they would. There's you know, very little... Uh, out, very few outlets for where kids can spend their attention these days. Is this something that you think outlasts the pandemic? You know, the, the sort of the funny thing is, is that this wasn't really about user growth in the U.S. I mean, users, daily active users, which is that DAU metric that a lot of people focus on, the U.S. was flat. So this wasn't about skyrocketing numbers of users in the U.S. Overseas, I mean, I think they grew a lot in India, and that was very helpful but the real story here is that advertisers are embracing Snapchat. And I think the team that's been hired, Jeremy Gorman, who came over from Amazon, Peter Naylor, who came over from Hulu, they have really done an amazing job of showcasing to advertisers the power of the Snapchat audience. This is a very tough audience to reach on linear television through most other mediums. It's hard to reach this group. They've done a great job showcasing that. They said on the call last night that they had a record number of new advertisers come on board. They're still a fraction of Facebook. You know, I'd say the, the trend here is this is not just Snapchat, right? I mean, this is helping Facebook, helping Pinterest, helping Twitter. I mean, there's something going on fundamentally where advertisers, because of COVID, I think are shifting faster away from traditional evening television and looking for how can they reach this audience, especially a younger audience, more and more content on places like Snapchat. Obviously, there's a lot of upside as you think about growth. You know, they talked about 50% growth in Q4, which I think you mentioned was sort of their, their guidance commentary. But remember, they exited the quarter probably growing in the 60s, if not mid-60s. So feels pretty conservative, especially if we're going to be locked, not locked, but certainly more homebound over the course of the next several months, which is probably going to mean the e-commerce trends that you've seen sort of broadly across the market will continue to be a nice tailwind behind Snapchat. And I think it really just yeah. speaks to Evan Spiegel has done a great job bringing on executives and pulling, you know, this company was dying two years ago. I mean, it was a $5 stock, it was right. dying. And they've got morale is up, people are excited, and advertisers want to be there now. Julia? Yeah, I think what's really interesting, Becky, is you asked if it's a COVID story, and I think the COVID story is really about the advertisers. And and Rich uh, mentioned this, but it's really about advertisers being pushed to try new formats. The advantage that Snap has, it has all this augmented reality uh, technology that was first only useful for the fun filters that were just for fun. They were not really revenue generating, but now those filters are being used to help sell things. And we're seeing such a broad array of advertisers say, okay, I'm not going to be putting my ads on TV or I'm going to look for a more measurable way to invest in reaching my younger consumers, which are the hardest to reach. So let's let them try on the nail polish with an augmented reality filter or try on the glasses. And so there's this whole push of advertisers trying to figure out how to leverage these new tools. And I think that if those tools are really working, which it seems like they are, then that could benefit Snap over the long run and really convert those advertisers more permanently, Becky.